In all fairness, she knows I talk about her all the time. All right, so early in the relationship, all of a sudden, I, I start making, you know, those positive bids, those things that is really good, and, and the things I know she's going to approve of. Now, there's two things that motivate humans, the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain and discomfort. So I will do everything I can to avoid pain and discomfort. Now, so I will say some things in order to receive her validation, because, you know, that feels mighty good. And, and then... I will do everything I can to avoid her rejection, her disappointment, her wrath, her criticism. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And so I figure out early in the relationship, ooh, we don't talk about that. Because that, ooh, my goodness, is the, mm, that's, that's a no-go subject. You know those subjects that you got that uh, you know the other person's not going to hear you? I want a baby. No. What about house? No. And, and so you, you figure out. And, and, and it's like, we don't talk about in-law. I mean, all those good things that uh, comes up, and, and, and it's like, ooh, back up. Now, in all fairness, my wife is doing the exact same thing to me. She knows how to read me you know, better than I know how to read myself. Let me give you an example. So here we are in church, and I'm having a good time, and I'm talking, I'm meeting all the new people. You know, those obligatory obligations that you have to go, and, yes, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. And my wife looks at me after the service, and we were in the car, and she says, you didn't like that guy, did you? And here I thought I was, you know, keeping it really good. And, and I said, how do you know? She said, you got this little smirk that comes across your face. And, and, and I could tell when you, didn't like, when you don't like someone. And, and so I have to admit, she must be right. You know, and, and so the, she reads me just as well as I can read her. So in this relationship, I figured out, ooh, the things that's presentable and the things that withhold. When I withhold, that's a violation of my integrity. I sell myself out. I'm not being authentic. I'm not all there. Matter of fact, I, I will only be there so long as it will keep the peace. I, I mean, because, you know, if, if I upset her, I, I'll endure her wrath, her disappointment, and how dare you, and blaming. In, in all fairness, I, I'll retaliate the same way. So after a while, I will only present what is presentable in order to manage her impression of me. So now this becomes impression management. I'm going to tell you, it is exhausting running around trying to manage everyone else's impression of you. Woo. I mean, it, it's interesting. You, you may see this happen. Sometimes you'll be walking somewhere and you'll forget something. And you'll see people don't go, oh, man, I forgot. And they'll tell you all about what they forgot and keep going. It's like, I really didn't want to know. What are they doing? They're trying to manage your impression of you, of them, so that way you don't think they're crazy. <laughs> I mean, y'all do it. You're like, we do it all the time. And, and so the moment I give up trying to manage everyone else's impression, whew, I'm free. But until then, I am an emotional hostage in this relationship. And, and when I'm an emotional hostage, I get to blame my partner. Now, right about here is when people say, we can't communicate. Well, it's not that you can't communicate. It, it, it's just that there's so much noise in between. And, and sometimes the communication is I don't want to talk. Why? I've already used up what is acceptable. And what's left over, I know you're not going to accept it. So why say anything at all? Now, my wife means so much to me. And, and the more she means to me, the more I try and manage her impression of me. You, you get this? So watch this. That's why when the office beauty comes by, and the office beauty doesn't mean that much to me. And, and the office beauty says, oh, Dr. Dave, that presentation you did was on point. Really? I, I, I just been validated. And now, because she doesn't mean much to me, I can tell her anything. We can have all kind of good conversation. And, and you know, you know that phenomenon where you can tell a stranger, a complete stranger, almost anything. And, you know, hey, if, that, if she rejects me, no big deal. I'll make another one look just like her. When this happens, the relationship is vulnerable to outside influence. And, and it's not that I'm going to look for it's just like, man, I like your validation. She doesn't mean that much to me. And, and you know, people say, but they didn't mean much to me. Baby, you mean a lot to me. And, and I love it because my wife means so much to me, I can't even tell her how I really feel. <laughs> and that's some kind of backward thinking. Mm. Now, check this out. And y'all may have used this phrase, and y'all can finish it for me. This is when people say, I love you, but I'm not. Oh, y'all got it. 
Yes, I'm not in love. Well, here's the problem. I know she's not presenting all of herself to me, and I know, darling, well, I'm not presenting all of myself to her, so how in the world could she be in love with me? And how in the world could I be in love with her because I've been managing what she sees? Now we're in a conundrum. Now we're stuck. 